What is up, everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I wanted everybody to be aware of this guide that exists on the internet. You can find it pretty much anywhere, even in a Google search. I will have a link for it down below in the description. But this is a comprehensive stat growth guide for all the classes in the game. Now, hold on. I'm sure those of you that are diehard, diehard Tactics Ogre players already are aware of this, so I apologize. This might, video might be redundant to you. But those of you that do not know, this is it. And it's been around for quite a few months. It'll show you the stat growths of every class, like I said. This is great detail. This will help those that are trying to min-max. Or if you really do switch classes, which I've never done because I'm lazy. But um, if you switch from like Warrior to Knight, whatever. You know, so you get the most stat growths. This will be great for you. I will kind of explain it a little bit for those of you that don't know what the numbers represent or how they work. And just kind of look at some of them and see how different it really is. But let's just look at Warrior right at the top. So green means uh, it's very good. Uh, red, the more red it is, the more bad it is. So we got like dark green is the best. Light green is pretty good. Uh, white is average. Then we got the pinkish red. That's kind of bad. And then we got the red red, which is uh, bad. So, <laughs> so overall, a warrior stat growths for total are poor. The, the total stat growths on a warrior are poor, even though HP is amazingly good. Okay? We look at, you know, any of those... We look at, like, Cleric. Cleric has great MP, but not as good as MP as the Wizard and Enchantress. And, obviously, the Warlock and Witch has better MP. Necromancer has better MP. Lich has probably the best MP in the game. So, you can see right there what you want to do if you're looking for a particular stat for a certain unit. And it's very handy, and it, like I said, it does cover all of them. I could go into great detail about all of them, but one thing I will say that I've noticed, which I'm sure anybody that's looking at it will notice, is the unique classes, the, you know, one of a kind that you can't make generics of. They definitely have higher stat growths. I mean, just look at the White Knight, for example. Um, they are pretty much green in every category, only have one red category, which is MP. I mean, a White Knight has better strength values than a Warrior, you know, it, look at, I mean, look at everybody that outclasses, and that's partially because it is a unique class. Same thing can be said for the Divine Knight as well. Look at that, not a single red one. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Divine Knight's a unique class, yeah. And, I mean, look at Knight Commander. This is why, this is why everybody loves, look at this, only one bad one, MP. Literally all greens, all green. Now, granted, it's kind of redundant to like look at those because you can't train a generic unit up or a recruited unit up into that because they can't become that class. So it's kind of irrelevant to an extent, but it can show you why those classes are so good because their stat growths are insane. Do keep in mind that these numbers are per level. This is per level. So if you take 26 HP on a warrior times it by 49 to get you know, to level 50 for the level cap, that'll give you like 1,274 HP or some number like that. So these are on a per level growth basis, uh, the stat increases you will see on those units. So yeah, I just wanted to, you know, give people some useful information they might not be aware of. Like I said, I'm sure a lot of you already know about this. And if so, well, I guess this video doesn't really do you much good. But for those of you that don't know and those of you that really want to get into the game and get the best out of everything and just min-max like crazy, this is your, this is your, like... This is what you want. This is what you want. This is what you need. And I hope it helps you. And I hope uh, for those of you that didn't know about it, now you know. And if you want to use it, you can. Like I said, it's been around for quite a few months. This is not new information. But it was new to me, and I thought I'd share it with everybody because why not? You know, share the love. Get people more excited for the game. I love data, and I love, like, sheets. And this kind of stuff just makes me, like, I could look at this and compare everything for, like, hours. I don't know why. I, I could just stare at this for a while and be like oh wow really this that oh yeah okay yeah you know like just blown away by this kind of stuff so if it helped you let me know down below guys any questions or comments let me know what do you think about it do you utilize this kind of stuff do you like it is it fun to you because it's fun to me so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it so much and i will see you guys in the next one later guys peace